Hey everybody, Wes Boss here. I'm gonna try something a little bit different today and show you some Git stuff. And that's because I get a lot of people asking me, like, what GUI do you use to, to handle your merge requests? And, and to be honest, I tried a whole bunch of them, but I never really found one that I liked. So what I ended up doing is learning how to actually uh, read a merge conflicted file and manually resolve it myself. So um, I've just been working on this public APIs. It's from Todd Motto. It's like a really nice little GitHub uh, database of different APIs that you can use. And and he's been like overwhelmed with pull requests. So I offered to, to help him out. And uh, I merged about, I don't know, 30 of them so far. But now like we're starting to get to this problem where uh, we've got a whole bunch of pull requests where everybody has sort of pull requested them at the same time and they all have merge conflicts, right? Like everyone just added this one line to the end and they're all uh, trying to overwrite each other. So I thought I'd show you exactly how I would fix something like this. So first thing that I want to do is there's actually pretty good instructions here. If you click on the view, the command line instructions, and I'm going to open up my terminal here to make sure that I am on it. Um, then what we want to do is we want to check out a branch and sort of do the dirty work on that branch. So uh, I like to do exactly what GitHub tells me to do. So I'm going to check out dash B means create a new branch called this. And we're going to base it off of master. What is master? I'm a master right now. Uh, and that's sort of like the most up to date version of this GitHub repo. So I'm going to check that out. Good. Now I'm on this branch, but I still don't have this code that this Paul one fits is trying to uh, submit to me. So I'm going to uh, pull it from his repo. And this is where we should end up. There we go. Now we've got the merge conflict right here. So if I say git status, you'll see that there both people have modified readme.md. So I'm going to open up the readme. And I'm going to take a look at it where we are. So the thing I'm actually looking for right now is somewhere where it says head. There we go. So this is what you want to look for. You want to look for all these chevrons or angle brackets right here. You want to look for the equal sign and then you want to look for the closing ones as long as this is what is called a commit hash. Now, how do you look at something like this? Because it can be a little bit overwhelming uh, when you're trying to merge, especially if it's multiple lines. So the what you need to do is, is essentially what's happening is that this line right here, head, which is our master, the head is like the thing that we are currently uh, working off of, is is this line. The, anything between head and the equal sign is what we have, and anything between the equal sign and the closing angle brackets is what they have. So we need to look at this, what we have, and look at what they have and figure out how do we manually do this ourselves. Now, sometimes this is going to be like some CSS where you might have to merge them manually. You have to put a little bit of thought into this. But in this case, it's, it's pretty straightforward where this is a line that we want to keep. This is also a line that we want to keep. So I'm just going to go ahead. And what I like to do is just take the pieces from what they have and move them into what I have. And then when I'm totally happy with what I have here, I go ahead and just delete, delete, delete. And that is going to uh, give me everything. I like to do a quick look to see if there's any other because it's possible that there's merge conflicts other in other places in the file. But looks like that was it. Now I just go back to here. I say git status again. We still have that one modified. So I'm going to commit that I fixed it. So I'm going to add everything. Git commit minus n fixes the merge conflict. Now it is good. You can see my terminal is green here. I know that there are no whoa, there's no weird stuff going on here. So I'm going to check out master. So now I'm back to master. If I go back to this file watch, it's going to change. It's gone because now I'm on my master branch and I want to get merge Paul one fits dash master. So I'm going to pull his branch into our master. There we go. And now if I go back to here, watch it pops back up. Good. Now I can just say git push and then to the uh, origin that you want it. Mine's origin and I'm going to say head or you can say master. Head is just a way to say uh, current branch name. So git push origin master or cut push git push origin master. There we go. I pushed it up. Let me go back here now and see like it automatically merged itself. The file change is still intact. 
This guy still gets credit for the merge request and everything is nice and clean because it's been added. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I found that to be um, one of the best things that I could uh, learn when learning Git. Um, if you'd like to learn more, just uh, hit subscribe and, and let me know what else in Git you'd like to, to learn about because I'm thinking about doing some more of them. Thanks a lot.